Hey guys, it's Lauren L and I tell stories with my doodles. The most special person in my life is my grandma. We call her Nanny. You can call her Nanny. I freaking love Nanny. Like she's not an old grouchy mean grandma. Hey, get away from my yard. She is the nicest grandma in the world to anyone and everyone. And I just can't believe how awesome she is sometimes. My favorite part about her is her sense of humor. Like I usually make her coffee in the morning and a couple of weeks ago, I made her drink out of a cup that said something a little inappropriate on it. And I thought it was hilarious. She thought it was hilarious too. And that's why I love my grandma. But recently my grandma ended up falling on one of her steps and she was in a ton of pain. So we had to call an ambulance to get her rushed to the hospital and figure out if she broke anything and if there's anything we can do to make her feel better. Her being a literal age of 99, yes, I said 99, it's kind of easy for her to break something. Her bones are probably like sticks. She can like walk into the counter and fall apart like a ton of Legos. One thing that's a fact that if you know Nanny, you know that she hates laying around. She's always moving. That's why I think she even has lived so long because she's always going, going, going. Which is why I had a bad feeling about this whole laying around in a hospital bed thing. Anyway, so it ended up being that me and my brother were the only ones home when it happened. That's not the greatest combination. We had no idea what we were doing. I mean, me and my brother are only a year apart, so we're pretty good friends. No, we're not. We're super close. No, we're not. So we work good as a team. No, we don't. And most of all, we love each other. I hate you. So my brother and I followed the ambulance, took her to the emergency room. They rushed her back for an x-ray. A lot was going on at once. The nurse came in, explained a whole bunch of stuff that she told us to make sure we tell our parents. Make sure to tell them. And we had no idea what she was talking about. So I thought of just taking my phone out and recording what she was saying so I could just play that back to my parents. So I recorded everything she said and then I put my phone in my pocket and I completely forgot to press the stop button. So the entire hospital visit was recording. I have a lot of really funny stuff on here. I did not do this on purpose. This was a complete happy accident. So anytime I'm incorporating the audio from that day, I'm gonna put subtitles down at the bottom. Okay, anyway, back to the story. So everything was going smooth. We were told to wait until the doctor came in with the x-ray results. No problem. And we waited, and we waited, and we waited, and we waited for three freaking hours. And hey, I get it. Doctors are busy. People are in pain. I'm not complaining about that. No, that's not what was driving us insane. Something else was uh, driving us insane. When do I go home? How long a try is it to get home? My God. Am I 100 yet? You're 99. When do I go home? That's what I want to know. I want to get out of here. So the, the problem was she would ask when is she going home. Then she would forget that she asked that so she would ask it again and then she would forget again. It was like a little kid asking on a road trip, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I couldn't take it much longer. I just decided I had to lie. When do I go home? All right, we're finally going home. When? Now. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, well, about a 20, mi 15 minutes. Oh, uh, thank the so good yeah, Lord. So, uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> That'll keep her quiet for a little while. Yes, I lied. Yeah, the truth is I had no idea when she was going home. I had no idea if she was going home. Finally, the doctor comes in to explain what's wrong. He has the papers in his hands. It's the x-ray results. And right when he's about to tell us, the nurse pulls him aside and says that the patient next door is having a heart attack and they need him right away. First of all, rude. We were here first. So we have the x-ray results. I was just about to read it and then I realized these words are really big. I, 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 I draw cartoons. Okay, frontal and lateral views. The lungs are clear. <sighs> Bored. 
I am bored. Yeah. Give me this. Pain to rib. You broke your ribs, so we're here for you. Not my wrist. No, your ribs. Oh, yeah. So give it like 20 minutes or so. Doctor comes back. Everything is uh, fine. Uh, she'll just have to make sure she's taking very deep breaths. Or she could end up with pneumonia and die. All right, so she's just got to breathe. And then we can go home. Yes. So the dude nurse comes in, just making sure she could breathe, and we'll be on our way. All right, so now what I want you to do is take three slow, deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, okay? All right, so I guess we'll be on our way now. We got to maintain 94% for 10 minutes. So she needs to maintain 94. What's the percentage now? 92. She needs to maintain 94 in order to go home. Yeah. Now you, you gotta keep breathing really deep. We're going lower. We're at 87. Ready? Follow L Lauren. Listen to me. Ready? Do that. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ready? Do you see the way I just breathe through my nose? Yeah. I see it better than what I. <laughs> or else they'll keep you here if you don't do it. I'll do it. And finally, one more big breath. And her little lungs did it. She did it. She got to 94%. She maintained it. And we finally got to go home. Nobody wants to stay in the hospital. Especially you.